Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're talking to Brian Trupik from Digisert, who's going to share with us some insight into the current state of PKI automation and the work that Digisert is doing to help businesses. Thanks for joining us, Brian, and welcome to the Jam. Yeah, thanks for having me. Fantastic. So to start off, can you tell us a little bit about Digisert as a company and the services you provide within the Asia-Pacific market? Sure. Yeah, Digicert is the world's largest provider of uh, digital certificates. That's where we get our name. Um, and so ultimately, those are based on PKI, core technology that uh, enables secure communications uh, in devices, secure storage, authentication. And so those are the services we provide, right? So we have a, a lot of solutions in markets um, like IoT, um, document signing, um, in uh, Australia, we have the gatekeeper program for imports exports where we manage all of that. Uh, so anything that's kind of based off of uh, PKI, uh, it's a place where we have tools and technology to help people with those. Oh, fantastic. And can you tell us a little bit more about the recent research that you guys have been doing? Sure. Yeah, we, um, we commissioned a, a little piece, a little study here. Uh, where they went out to enterprise customers uh, worldwide and talked to about 400 uh, enterprises. And um, in that, we were asked them specific questions about PKI automation. Uh, and for some of the folks listening, um, if you're not familiar with PKI, it has a lot of complex bits, uh, mathematics, cryptography, private keys, all kinds of crazy stuff nobody ever wants to deal with. Automation is a big, big deal because when that stuff breaks, it causes outages for websites or it causes authentication outages. So we asked the customers, you know, how are you using this? Are, are you looking at automation? How are you automating? Um, and we got some really interesting data. I mean, I think in a APAC specifically, we have um, the average enterprise, if I recall correctly, has about 40,000 PKI certificates that they're managing. Um, and that probably doesn't include like DevOps and, and some of the more ephemeral certificates people are using, maybe in, in Docker, you know, container deployments and things like that. Um, and I think the other thing that we saw that was really interesting is a vast majority of the customers in APAC, um, which I think is leading, by the way, across the world, are talking about um, you know, how they can use PKI automation to start to solve some of these problems. Um, you know, I think that was about 86% of them were actually, you know, it, kind of thinking about this and going down that path with about 10% uh, actually implementing it and using some solutions now. Um, and I think the real driver for that is, again, in APAC specifically, we saw that 35% of the enterprises we talked to, They've experienced five to six outages in the last six months alone related to PKI certificates that expired uh, or some sort of misconfiguration. Uh, that just costs them time and money and, and obviously brings outages and downtime to their organization. I think that's why they care. Um, so that's you know kind of at the heart of what we did in our research um, was talking to them to kind of see, you know, where are you guys going and, and what can we do to help you get there? Fantastic. And um, for businesses that haven't worked with your company before, what are some of the offerings and um, services you can provide in, in relation to that? Yeah, so it's, it's interesting. I think at the core of what our company does has been a notion of uh, PKI automation. Um, you know, and, and we're just continuing to enhance that and extend that to meet the customer's needs now. When you look at, um, as an example, some of the enterprise authentication needs where, where people are using certificates for device identity to gain access to corporate networks, or where people are using certificates for even user identity or MDM solutions for device identity there, there's a lot of places where digital certificates kind of come up under that infrastructure. Um, like it, one of the most popular ones right now is like Microsoft Intune, right? So folks are utilizing that for <clears throat> all their kind of <clears throat> excuse me, uh, MDM and UEM stuff. And as they're doing that, you know, underneath they want to utilize certificates for the identity aspect. So I think we, we see a lot of that in enterprise and we support all of those use cases and, and support, you know, multitude of MDM and UEM providers and, and smart card and, and soft token or uh, token based manufacturers for authentication. So we have all of that, but we also, um, you know, in delivering that we have tools and technology to make it seamless. Right. So you don't need to have users trying to figure out how to do this. I mean, 
like we just talked about, administrators of IT infrastructure have enough challenge trying to figure this stuff out. Imagine just giving it to you know people in payroll and say, go figure that out. It's never going to work, right? So we have the tools and technology that makes that automated, really kind of makes it integrate with like Active Directory or whatever the infrastructure is in that company. So these things automatically get pushed out and, and users don't even need to worry about them. Um, so I think as we're you know, continuing down that path, we also have uh, automation into some of the DevOps world um, where we're doing things for, you know, not only code signing, you know, of, you know, secure code, but really the key protections around how development teams and organizations manage those secure aspects for identifying uh, code or applications that have been built by them. Um, and so that's a really interesting space because that's gotten us into the, the DevSecOps space where we're doing container signing and, you know, looking at what's being deployed out into this infrastructure as people are looking at cloud transformation, more workloads are going out there. They want to make sure that they can uh, attest that they are workloads that should be running and haven't been tampered with. And, and so we can help them with that. Um, and then I think, you know, kind of uh, next on, on the spectrum there is we have support for IoT, where we really are looking at from chip where things are burnt into silicon and, and you have you know trust and identity baked in. We have things that integrate with the providers down on that level to manufacturing where you're starting to work with a device that's being provisioned and how do you get security on it to when a device is fielded and how does it update and how does it um, you know get um, turned on in the environment as well as how does it get turned, turned off kind of that full life cycle. And so there's PKI through that whole thing. Uh, and then last but not least is really in the document space. Um, where, especially like in the APAC region, there's a lot of standards, uh, just like in the EU region, uh, around how documents need to be signed and what can be a credential that is legally verifiable in those regions, often includes PKI. And so we have sit, uh, solutions for those document workflows for signing and attesting and being compliant with uh, local regulations for those kinds of documents. That's kind of the, the whole uh, of Digicert, um, you know, uh, and, and of course, on top of that is the SSL certificates um, and the uh, ability to manage those and, and do those in large quantities and automate those into your uh, IT environment. Um, and that kind of rounds out everything that, that we do in a nutshell. That's fantastic. Seems like a lot of big, uh, big uh, scope there and, and lots of opportunity. Um, yeah. If people wanted to get in touch with you guys, how would they go about that? How can they access your services? Yeah, so I think um, from the DigiCert perspective, the best way is you, you can, excuse me, you can uh, visit our website. Um, and on our website, uh, you know, you can uh, link and contact us. If the website isn't uh, your jam, then we have an uh, email, which is pki underscore info at digicert.com. Uh, and then we also have um, an office in Australia. Um, and so we have a phone number there. We have uh, 613-9674-5500. Uh, you can reach out and talk to somebody there. Uh, we're, we have experts in that region and some really good people you can talk to. Oh, fantastic. We're looking forward to hearing more updates from DigiSuit. And thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, yeah. You're, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Awesome.